the forest policy is very clear that one of its targets is securing the tenure rights of women. It is also very clear that women's participation in decision making and in the benefits of forest resources need to be realized. There is urgent need to go back and evaluate how best we can actually secure the tenure rights of women and give them a much stronger role in decision making in the forestry sector. As you well know, women are the ones who make things happen. If there is no firewood, if there is no water, if there is no food, the home is dead. Now, we also need to recognize uh, a number of policies. There's the national gender policy uh, that provides the needed policy direction on inclusion of gender into all sectors, including gender-based budgeting for all government programs. In Uganda now, if you, have, you don't have a, a certificate from the Ministry of Gender to show that your budget is engendered, you will not get that money. And that is a step in the right direction. How are we going to ensure that we do there is more commitment towards gender mainstreaming in the forestry sector, not just the, the land tenure reforms. I think we need to look even beyond the reforms, look at the policies that we have. I'm personally concerned that some of these policies were made before gender became you know, understandable by most of our policymakers and technocrats. We need to revisit these policies, including those that are relevant to land tenure reform, see how we can make these policies more gender sensitive, ensure that they are more inclusive and involve all these groups that we are talking about. You know, they have to get to be involved not only in a benefiting at a subsistence level, but they also have to be involved in decision making. Managerial level, they also have to be empowered in terms of, you know, funds also that they can they can benefit at that level. Remember, it is the women who forage the grounds. They are the ones who tender the seedlings to come up. So if they are left out, that means the resource is not well protected. For example, we have heard from the results that in many cases, women are not even informed about the meetings concerning uh, forest management. They may not be informed. Sometimes they are left out intentionally because already it is in the culture, I, I mean, at, at the attitude of people that women do not have much to, set, uh, to, to contribute to land because they don't own, therefore they ha don't have much to contribute about trees because they don't, you know, they are not, uh, uh, you know, they, they don't have rights o over that. So in that case, they are left out. So let them be informed, let them be inv in, in, in invited, let them be allowed to speak out their minds, and let them be also be involved in implementation of programs. So I think in that way, the women will have participated fully.